doing the fucking spin thing. I haven't done the spin thing since the fucking Outlast videos. What's up, everybody? I was thinking to myself, hey, Joe, you know, you don't, uh, you don't have a video for this week. And I thought to myself, oh, fuck, you're right. I should put Grimace in the background. This is, this is kind of a weird angle. You know, you don't normally see, like, this half of my room. You normally see, like, the bookshelf with all the games and the fucking toys on it. So I put a poll out on Instagram, and I was like, yo, what, like, send me video suggestions. And people just sent me, like, a bunch of fucking, like, dumb, some dumb, some are good questions. So I figured we're just going to answer these Instagram submissions that we got because there's a lot of them. And I think it would be fun to do, like, a little uh, Q&A as much as I would hate to put a fucking Q&A out here. I don't, I, dude, I, I've reached the point of cringy YouTuber. God damn it. So the first submission, when I asked for video ideas is uh, my good friend Brian said, I want a video of you eating a bowl of meatballs for 10 minutes, no talking, this is not a fetish. Uh, someone said, do a game collection video. Yeah, I've, I, I think I've almost done that. Didn't I make a fucking a video? Kid, hey! Didn't I make a fucking video about my game collection? I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I did. Why don't you make a video answering questions from this? That's what I'm doing. What is your unpopular opinion about something that many would disagree with? <clears throat> <clears throat> this is from the Old Testament. When dealing with the corn dog, the stick must be factored in for it to be considered a corn dog. The stick is needed. If the stick is not in the corn dog, it's not a corn dog. That's all I'm saying. What inspired you to make videos? That's a good one. Since I was super young, I've always made videos and I've always made movies and I used to run around with like my mom's old fucking VHS camcorder that they gave me when I was like eight or nine years old and I would just run around and make random videos and I made videos for years and years and years and then, uh, you know, I went through high school and I went through middle school and I never really did anything with videos and then one day I decided to... Basically, what I, what happened was, is we're not going to go into detail, but I had a music channel on YouTube that had, like, a couple thousand subscribers that I deleted, and I made a new YouTube in 2012, and I didn't put a video on it until 2015 when I did that Tony Hawk Let's Play because I loved video games, and I loved making videos, so I was like, dude, fuck it, I'm just going to combine the two, and... I don't really know what inspires me to make videos. There's just something inside of me that tells me, yo, make videos. So that's what I've been doing. I don't think there's one specific thing that inspires me. I know that's like a really lame answer, but like the thought of being able to make people happy and make people laugh and like persuade some ideas into the world and just put creative energy into the universe through making videos, that's what inspires me. That's my answer. God damn it, here we go. Why are you so awesome? That's a good fucking question. Why am I so awesome? I don't know. All right, here's a good one. How are your relationships with your family, a.k.a. sisters, brother, mom, and dad? Uh, me and my parents have a phenomenal relationship. It wasn't always like that. It was uh, not ideal when I was younger because I was a fucking piece of shit kid. Running, I was a fucking like d degenerate kid, and I was just a very, very bad child, and I was never good to my parents, and they didn't deserve that. But now we have a fucking amazing relationship. Uh, I have two sisters. My older sister lives in Las Vegas. I rarely talk to her, and I haven't really talked to her a lot my entire life, really, uh, because she's always pretty much been gone. Uh, but I love her to death, and I would do anything for her. My younger sister, uh, it's just, you know, I'm just on a different schedule than she is, so I rarely see her, but I love her, and I, you know, every time I ask her to do something, she always says no, but, because she's always tired, because she goes to bed at, like, fucking 6 o'clock at night. I don't understand that, uh, but I would love to spend more time with her. My little brother, I, you know, rarely see him, too, because he's always doing shit. And, you know, they're both growing up, so I understand it. I did the same thing when I was their age. Um, I would love to see both of them more, but, you know, unfortunately, we're all on different schedules. But I love them all. It's great. We all have good relationships. It's, it's phenomenal. There's my answer. What is one goal you'd like to reach by the end of the year? 
500 fucking subscribers, man. I'm so close. I have like 353 or whatever at the time of recording this, but I want 500 subscribers by the end of the year. That is my fucking goal. Do you dream in sound and color? And do you believe in conspiracy theories? What are your favorites? Uh, I I believe in color and sound. Yes, both of them. Do you, do I believe in conspiracy theories? Of fucking course. All I watch on Netflix and YouTube is conspiracy. My light just went off. Holy fuck! As I'm talking about conspiracy theories, oh, dude, this is fucking creepy. I'm out of here. Favorite conspiracy theories are that a real alien crashed at Roswell in 1942 or whatever year it was. I think it was 42 or 43. Uh, but everyone says it's a weather balloon. It was definitely a UFO. They kept the UFO at Area 51 and recovered alien bodies. My second favorite conspiracy theory. Now, this may be controversial, but 9-11 was an inside job. Uh, sorry. Why are you so cute? Uh, who are your biggest influencers? James Rolfe is one of them. I don't know if anybody even knows who that is, but he is uh, the angry video game nerd. He is a uh, YouTuber and extremely motivating. He pretty much stands for everything I stand for. And he is a filmmaker, like an amateur filmmaker, and he makes like the type of shit that I want to make. Probably the biggest influencer is... Uh, my late great friend Charlie, God rest his fucking soul. I got him right here every day. Uh, he's always watching over me and he's what, he kind of is what like influences me to do other things and like try new things and not be afraid of like what the outcome would be and, and all that. So there's that. If you could change one thing from your past, what would it be? To not get addicted to nicotine. What's your number one thing on my bucket list? Well, let me go look at it because it's hanging up over there. To accomplish my dreams of changing the world through a video. Biggest pet peeve. Uh, when people try to like show off in public, I fucking can't stand that. When you know somebody's like trying to show off in front of like a girl or a guy, it's just like the most fucking annoying thing I've, I've ever witnessed in my entire life. Who's my favorite celebrity? Either Freddie Mercury, Frank Ocean, or Lady Gaga. How do you feel about Jeffree Star? Ah, ah, God, do we have to talk about him? In your dream world, continue the sentence. In my dream world, <laughs> in my dream world, cigars wouldn't be bad for you because I would smoke them all day long. No, even better. In my dream world, cigarettes wouldn't be bad for you. Cigars wouldn't be bad for you. And there would be nothing but love. Love conquers all. Do you like spiders? Fuck no. I hate spiders. Spiders are the worst things to ever happen to this fucking world since the cancellation of Power Rangers Ninja Storm. Alright, I'm fucking done, dude. I'm tired as fuck. It's late as shit. I filmed this video after I hit the gym. I gotta brush my teeth. Okay, I gotta fucking brush my teeth here. Alright, so we're ending this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I greatly appreciate it. Keep your eye out for the next video. See you later.